you grew up in the community from in my baby. My mother grew up five of us with Fletcher. Sleep on one bed. I will never have a problem with that. My mother grew up Fletcher very, very good. Fletcher is a youth. Always take telling but from Fletcher to adults. No one can talk to Fletcher. Fletcher is a youth that go to church, baptize. I don't know what had happened with Fletcher or I don't know if the community make Fletcher like this. Fletcher is a youth that always be the good one in our family. Fletcher is a youth that always try to make the family happy. My brother of 16 subjects. You understand? Fletcher always try to be happy, but the community that you live in, you have to be strong. And if in this community or anywhere else garrison, when you don't strong, is this. You have to fight to live for your life in certain community. You can't tell anybody this. I'm, I'm seeing this coming. I'm seeing this coming. But, <laughs> brother. Brother. See it coming, but I cannot do nothing but pray. But I never see it coming so quickly. And Fletcher, I always love her. And that's what I have to say. I always love her. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Life is like a book. Some chapters are sad, some are happy, some are exciting. But if you never turn the page, you'll never know what the next chapter holds. What go on, people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. It is a wonderful Sunday to be alive. Yes, my people. And one only percent thing still I go on the news. But well, lad, me I go right down a Clarendon, cause it's a story that makes no sense to me. What you tell me what think? The police has launched a probe after a firearm of a popular justice of peace was stolen in Clarendon on Monday. The gun, a Glock 17 with a magazine containing 16 9mm rounds, was stolen between 10.15 pm and 11 pm when the JP fell asleep in his motor car, the police said. The report that the JP was at a party in the parish when he and his friend left to go to their home. On their way home, remember now, this is good. Party may not have left to go home. On their way home, he stopped under a street light near a bar and his friend went inside to buy a drink for the JP who removed his firearm and placed it on the driver's side floor mat. Well, are the people? You know, see me watching that show you already. But wait, you're going to see if it have the same ending. The JP dozed off and was awakened by his friend a few minutes later and they drove off. The JP reportedly dropped his friend home and then went to his house. It was reported that after arriving home, he stretched his hands down. Yes, people, stretched his hands down to retrieve his firearm. However, he discovered that it was not where he placed it. He got out of his car and searched the vehicle, but the gun was not found. The police were summoned and an investigation into the matter was launched people tell me if this makes sense i slap mr jp boy if he gets to that point make i tell you this you saw yesterday them find one body with gunshot wound to the head and guess how far gone but i'm worrying yourself man we are waiting for it can we tell you some watch some movie already you know? i watched the movie already anyway look i move on police in portmore st catching has charged a man who was shot and injured when he reported attempt to rob a license farm owner with an illegal gun last month ryan smith who was admitted to hospital for more than two weeks after he was shot was charged by the st catherine south cib when he was released from the healthcare facility this week, Smith, an unemployed resident of Bangalore in Gregory Park, was charged with assault and legal possession of firearm. Then, four full people not hospital, this man. Why they never pull the plug? Who are you? Them, I'm not going to tell you which hospital to come. Tell me from the other day, say, you have a particular hospital. When gunman go there, they save their life. But when regular people go there, 
dirt them get dirt anyway let i move on it's reported that on september 30 2022 the license firm all of us walking along the road in phoenix victor Grand park when a man armed with an handgun ran from the bushes point the weapon at him and demand money the license firm older pulled his gun and opened fire it didn't the want to be rubber a 30 revolver was taken from him he was taken to the spanish Town hospital see that the hospital eh? once you're a gun man your life willing to be safe can remember remember good then i gonna send a message and say yo if you don't save him life no no he can't go home as i go dead so me i tell you no once you're a gun man you get shot you have a 99.8 percent chance of living when you go right out there so if you go anywhere else there's no say plug get pulled anyway people make i continue the news where he was admitted in serious but stable condition under police guard police said smith was released from the hospital on tuesday and subsequently charged after he was questioned in the presence of his attorney let's see how quick can get attorney and them little thing there people me telling exactly how it go you understand about nobody come ask me my view oh you know that and if i meet the dancer don't let her name something this thing but me just a tell you no say i saw it go if you don't believe me ask them out of spanish town if them willing for come come telling you the truth them are telling you anyway more news right over the big door to get up me there now you know exactly which probably attack so i'm not even have to tell you the name right away two 15 year old school boys were among four persons charged by police in connection with a robbery in portmore st catherine last friday the four were charged at the st catherine south cib on friday october 21st let me tell you about them name now people they are janiel louis otherwise called harry a 22 year old laborer from passage fort drive portmore Kyle Morris, otherwise called British, a 19-year-old from Arbor Heights, Arborview, Kingston, and a student from a corporate era high school and a student from a high school in Portmore. The four were charged with robbery aggravation and conspiracy to robbery after being questioned in the presence of the attorney on Friday. Now if I put my motor go attack, I'll slap the robber to get slapped away now. Me and me and the no people. It's reported that at about 9.30 p.m. on Friday, October 14, 2022, a couple was walking along the roadway in Brayton when they were pounced upon by four men who alighted from a vehicle. They reported the rob of cash, cell phone, and other personal items at Knife Point. Yes, people, Knife Point. You're old enough to walk with knife, you're old enough to get slapped with gun. Me, I'll be honest with you know. An alarm was raised and the police were alerted. Members of the St. Catherine South Quick Response Team responded and intercepted the getaway car along Darkins Drive and the four accused were detained. Why the police them never just fold it up a pepper? That's all the police tell me that for do. This a girl that should have fall up a pepper grain. How bury we should have buried them, my boy. Yeah. Make I move on. Because we have more things in the news. Two men have been arrested over seizure of two guns in separate incidents in Westmoreland and in St. Andrew. A firearm and five rounds of ammo was recovered during a joint police military operation in Top Glen Devon, Grain Jail in Westmoreland. Report from the Morgan Bridge Police that at about 12.30 p.m., members of the security forces were in the area when they saw a man standing at a shop. Upon seeing the police team, guess what, people? The man reportedly entered the building. According to the police, his action arose their suspicion and he was accosted and searched. The shop was also searched. During the process, a one Browning 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 5 9mm rounds of ammo was found inside the shop. Yes, people. I'm trying to take the shop owner too. The man was arrested. The Unsbury police made a seizure in St. Andrew Junior Operation on Maple View Road. Report that at about 9.50 p.m., the police team was in the area when they allegedly saw a man along the roadway acting in a manner that arose their suspicion. The man was accosted, searched, and one 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 11 9mm rounds of ammo was found in his possession. He was taken into custody. The police have further investigation are underway in both cases. Oh, slap them, my boy. Should I get slapped right now? Why the police them all is a waste of a kind of my boy behind bars? It makes no sense. Anyway, people, more news. Remember this man I'm telling about the accident I'm show no one like a piece of video and then me show some holy for video in the group. No, me can't tell you no all who then. Listen up now, people. Three members of an American family who lost their life in Sunday's car crash on the Iron Shore Main Road in Montego Bay, St. James has been identified. They include 59-year-old flight attendant Sandra Lee and her 25-year-old daughter Savannah Lee, a real estate agent of Florida. Their cousin Donna Brown, a 55-year-old nurse from Winter's Garden, Florida, 
also perish in the crash, people. And mommy have one and two look up in chat. But anyway, make I continue. Three other relatives are hospitalized. Report reaching on news team that about 12.15 a.m. Six were traveling their Toyota Axia motor car towards Montego Bay from Falmouth in Trelawney. On reaching a stop line on the Iron Shore Main Road, the driver reported he lost control of the vehicle and collided in another vehicle traveling in the opposite direction. Lee, her daughter and Brown were flung from the car. Them never have had no seatbelt people. No seatbelt whatsoever. They're foreign, they must wear them seatbelt. But when they come here, yeah, they're not weird. So, what you think I got? Eh? What you think I got? But anyway, I can continue the news. Savannah and Donna reported received severe head injuries. And guess what? They died on the spot. Sandra Lee was rushed to the hospital, but died while undergoing treatment. The other three relatives, including the driver of the car, were reportedly in critical condition. As soon as we get more information, pan that, on and more ready. Me, I go give it to you. I will learn a bit there now. Me never get for telling the news, yeah? but now me can't get for telling you. You understand? Because Jeremy and Brown, aka Shaggy, right from down and over side right around there, so if they never shop up at Chester Castle, I make a tell the people them something. And the first man me say, they didn't want to shop, and he sit down on the ground, neat, 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 and he just catch for a little bit, so if you don't believe me, come, come look at the picture. Come, come look at the picture, because I'm not tell this platform, you know. No lie whatsoever. Anyway, people, I soon come back and go to some more news.